Welcome back to another exciting movie recap. Today, we're diving into the thrilling adventure of Jungle Cruise. In 1556, Spanish conquistador Don Aguirre, Edgar Ramirez, leads his men to South America in search of the legendary logarmist the Cristal Tree, whose magical flowers can cure any illness and heal any injury. Aguirre's mission is personal. He needs the flowers to save his dying daughter. After a grueling journey, Aguirre's men are saved by the Puka Maikuna tribe using the tree's flowers. However, when the tribal chief refuses to reveal the tree's location, Aguirre turns violent, killing the chief and burning the village. The dying chief curses Aguirre and his men, making them immortal and bound to the Amazon River forever. Fast forward to 1916 in London, Dr. Lily Houghton, Emily Blunt, is determined to find the tears of the moon to revolutionize medicine and aid the British war effort. Her brother, McGregor, Jack Whitehall, presents their research to the Royal Society, but they are dismissed. Undeterred, Lily steals a crucial artifact, the arrowhead, narrowly escaping Prince Joachim, Jesse Plemons, a German royal intent on finding the tree to help Germany win the war and achieve immortality. Lily and McGregor travel to Brazil, searching for a guide to navigate the perilous Amazon River. They meet Frank Wolf, Dwayne Johnson, a witty and resourceful skipper who reluctantly agrees to help them after a series of humorous negotiations and a staged leopard attack. Together, they evade Joaquim's submarine and head into the jungle. As they journey deeper into the Amazon, Frank reveals his extensive knowledge of the tree and its legends, arousing Lily's suspicion about his true intentions. The trio is captured by the Puka Maikuna tribe, but it turns out Frank is old friends with their chief, Trader Sam, Veronica Falcon. Sam deciphers the arrowhead symbols, revealing the tree's location and that it blooms under a blood moon. Meanwhile, Joaquim revives the cursed conquistadors by diverting the river, and they resume their quest for the tree, driven by a promise of flowers to break their curse. They attack the tribe, fatally wounding Frank, Lily escapes with the arrowhead, while the conquistadors are dragged back by the jungle. To Lily's shock, Frank comes back to life. He reveals he is one of the cursed conquistadors, originally named Francisco. He had fought against Aguirre's brutality, ultimately trapping his fellow conquistadors to save the tribe. Unable to find the tree himself, he became a riverboat captain. Continuing their journey, they discover the tree's temple hidden behind La Luna Roda waterfall. Joaquim captures McGregor, forcing him to reveal Lily's whereabouts. Everyone converges at the tree as the blood moon rises. After a fierce battle, Lily manages to secure a single flower. Joaquim and his men are defeated, but Frank sacrifices himself to save Lily, turning to stone. In a heart-wrenching moment, Lily uses the precious flower to lift Frank's curse, restoring his humanity. Amazingly, a second flower blooms, which Lily takes for her research. They return to port, where Frank sells his boat and joins Lily in London. In the end, Lily becomes a full professor at the University of Cambridge, while McGregor proudly rejects the Royal Society's membership offer. Lily and Frank, now free to explore life together, begin a new chapter in their adventure. And that's a wrap on Jungle Cruise. If you enjoyed this recap, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thrilling movie summaries.